Japan Board Game Hall Part 3. You do some kind of announcer voice. <laughs> so most of these games we picked up in a bit of a mad rush. Because we wanted to buy as many board games as possible. First off, I picked up this copy of Rhino Hero from Loft, Amy's favourite washi tape shop. And stickers. Okay. Um, it's a fun little dexterity game I hear people talk about a lot, so thought we'd add it to the collection. Next, we went back to Yellow Submarine. I chose Order Overload, which isn't about animals for once. I found out about it from Actualol on YouTube. It's a cooperative memory game where you're working together to memorise the orders that are made. I also really like the little people that come in here. What little people? I haven't seen any come in here. They're little men. They've got little ears. It's cute. I picked up this copy of Ito Rainbow. It was recommended by Board Game Dojo again. It's a party game, a bit of a mixture of Wavelength and The Mind, where you're trying to set down cards in numerical order, but you're not allowed to see what each other's got. The next game I got was Nine Tiles Panic, which is an oink game. Um, I watched a How It's Played by Before You Play on YouTube, and it looked really fun. You're all trying to place your tiles as quickly as possible in order to get the most points from certain criteria. Then I picked up Yura Yura Penguin. It's described as a mixture of Jenga and Uno, uh, where you're stacking this little iceberg up and balancing penguins on it. Sounds a little bit like Rhino Hero, really, but looks cute, looks fun. Good reviews. We went back to Saragaya and I found Trick Taking in Black and White and I made Sam buy it. Yeah, probably wasn't the cheapest second-hand thing we bought, but it was one we were really looking for and we couldn't find anywhere else. It's a trick-taking game with some elements similar to Scout and Fox in the Forest, so you're only allowed to either use the black or the white number on the card each round, and you only want to score a certain amount of tricks for each colour as well. Nana was another game that we were looking and looking and looking for throughout our whole holiday, and finally, at the end, we found it in the same place we found trick-taking in black and white. Nano is a popular little memory game where you're trying to collect three of a kind with cute little artwork of animals. Bonus round! Sam's birthday presents! Bonus round! What he got for birthday? So these ones we didn't buy in Japan, but they are Japanese games. Amy bought them from Travelling Games. The first one I chose was Pokemon Nine Tiles. Um, I don't know how to play it, but I picked it because it's Pokemons. Basically, you're trying to arrange your Pokemon in the same way that they are on the card which is flipped over in front of you before everyone else. The next one is this version of Love Letter, which I really like the artwork of. It's got really high quality cards too. They're a bit like credit cards almost. And finally, I got Sam this game called Darama Atsume. It's a cute little retheme of the game No Mercy. Uh, we really like Darama. Fun little Japanese gift if you go there. Board game haul done. We've got no money left now. Thanks for watching.